Hey, this is a quick video just to show you how to make a horizontal number line on Desmos so that you can have open dots and closed dots at the end. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a y equals zero um, line and you can see that that y equals zero line is right on the x-axis. If you want to keep it on the x-axis, you can leave it right there. Um, and we are going to use the French brackets, which are right next to the letter P. So if you go to the right of the letter P, hit shift. If you want to limit that number line, right now it's going from negative infinity to positive number, positive infinity, it goes forever. If you want to limit it from negative 5, you have to set the domain. So you have to say negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 5. Now, if you see, our number line shows up between negative 5 and 5. Now, if you want to leave it right on the x-axis, you can do that. However, I like to move it slightly above the x-axis. So instead of y equals 0, you can make this y equals 1 half. That'll move it a little bit up, or even you could make it y equals 1, and that will put it right above your number line, which makes it a little bit easier to see. Now, if you want to put dots on either side of this line, you actually need to put in the ordered pair the points that go with this. So if I want to go from negative 5, I need to put a negative 5 comma, and I've put my y value at 1. So negative 5, 1 will give me a dot. Now let's say I want the dot to be green because my number line is green. If you hold, click and hold on that purple dot, we can change it to green. We can also change it to an open dot if we want it to be, um, if we want our compound inequality to be negative 5 is less than x. And then we can make the other end, let's say we want a less than or equal. If I put this up here, there we go. If I put that less than or equal in my inequality, it doesn't show up on my number line. Again, I have to put in that point, and that's a positive 5, comma 1. And then again, now the dot shows up black. I'm going to click and hold on that. I'm going to turn it green, and I'm going to keep it a closed dot. Okay? If you want to label these, you can label these, right? And we could just put the label negative 5 if we want. If we just want the negative 5 to show up, we can put that. Um, here, if we wanted to label it, it's going to automatically label with the point, but if you wanted to put a 5, you could put there. Let's say it was 5.1, right? Let's say you wanted this to be 5.1 or 5.12, then you need to change this x value to 5.12, and then you could change your label to 5.12 so that your readers know exactly what that dot is, okay? So this is a nice way to make inequalities on Desmos, right? And you can graph them this way with just a straight horizontal number line. If you want to use this in your project, this is a great idea to kind of make the um, number lines in your project digital.